My name is Raymond Fernandez. I am co-author of the upcoming book, A Brief History in La Mirada, due out on March 29th of 2021. Today, we are here with Mr. Steve DeRus, current council member, city of La Mirada, former mayor as well, who has an uncanny resemblance of our founder back from the 1880s, Mr. Andrew McNally himself. Today, we're gonna go on a few different touristic sites with respect to the importance of how La Mirada was founded and established. So today, I'm proud to introduce Mr. Steve DeRus, Andrew McNally. Thank you, Raymond. We're here today, we're gonna to be celebrating La Mirada. It's our 60th anniversary. And what we put together are historical sites. There's 13 different historical sites around our community. And uh, you can come and you can visit them. It says a little bit about what it's about, but we're gonna be visiting all 13 today. So you get a, an idea of what it is. It's, it's a great walking, biking tour if you wanna take the family. It's something that the Historical Society and the city of La Mirada has partnered together to bring so that you can know uh, the foundation of your community in, in which you live in. So we're going to go from here and now we're going to go over and we're going to go over to the Eternal Flame and pick up our tour over there. Today we find ourselves here standing in front of the Eternal Flame. And uh, what's really fascinating about the city of La Mirada is that it encompasses not just a lot of different attributes of the city, but also something that's very near and dear to my heart, uh, the armed services and those it served, present and past. I appreciate that the city recognizes how important that it is to have some of these people here listed as well as uh, keeping the flame burning for those that have passed. Thank you, Raymond. You know, La Mirada has a tremendous legacy of people who paid the ultimate sacrifice for the freedoms in our country and people that have actually served in the armed forces. As you see, it says here, this flame is dedicated to the men and women of La Mirada who gave their lives to the service of their country. And if you've never seen this beautiful memorial, it's here at City Hall Plaza, right next to the library, and I hope that in part of your walking tour, you would come out and spend a little time here and just remember those that gave the ultimate sacrifice for our freedoms that we enjoy today. Thank you. Here we are at site number two in the city of La Mirada. This is an area where family and friends can get together, an inclusive, diverse, group of people that can spend time here with respect to uh, activity, uh, whether it be the water park, whether it be the library, whether it be an activity center. Very proud of La Mirada's accomplishment to have developed this about 13 years ago. Thank you, Raymond. You know, this area at one time was all a park. And even before that, when it was originally a ranch, there was trees, there was crops, there was all kinds of things going on here. But now what we have is a beautiful water park and one of the things that makes La Mirada unique is our water park. We have Splash. And it's not just a water park, it's a place for uh, recreation. You know, it is, it is a place for uh, Olympic pre-trial type swimming events. We have a, we have a state-of-the-art swimming pool here that is uh, considered fast. And what that means is people want to come here and, and do competitions in our pool because it's so state-of-the-art. But it's also a place where, where family can gather. You know, we have season passes to this. And you can come during the summer and partake of Buccaneer Bay, which is good for the children you know to ride along the, the uh, lazy river and things like that or you can take swimming lessons you know you can uh, even rent it out for private parties it's one of the uh, hidden gems in Southern California so if you have a chance and if you've never been here uh, please come by and just take a look at its splash I think you'll enjoy what you see here we are once again at site number three this is actually the very first operating business within town limits in the city of La Mirada. It was established by the Peeblers in 1924. I personally got to meet Harriet and Gerald Peebler uh, about eight years ago, and um, they've since passed, and uh, much respect to them and what they've accomplished being married 75 years, etc. But this is the only active cemetery in the city of La Mirada established as their first business. Uh, Mr. McNally. Uh, thank you, Raymond. You know, La Mirada is a good place. Not only it's a great place to live, work, and play, but it's also a great place to remember. And having a cemetery in the heart of our city is a place where you can come and remember and, and reflect on the past and the loved ones. And it's just, uh, uh, it's just part of our community. And so we certainly welcome the fact that we have uh, Olive Lawn here. You know, originally it was called Graceland back in 1924 but now it's called Olive Lawn. So I just encourage you to come and uh, a part of your walking tour, come by and stop and remember. 
what's going on here. Thank you. Continuing on here on our historic tour in the city of La Mirada with Mr. Andrew McNally, we find ourselves at stop number four, which is the La Mirada historic site of Biola University. Now, Biola University was originally located in downtown Los Angeles, and it stands for Biblical Institute of Los Angeles. Here we are not only at the university, but we're also on the street of Biola in the city of La Mirada. To be specific, it says, former site of McNally Junior High School, Biola University, formerly Biola College, was built at this location in 1959. La Mirada prides itself to, with the academic quality that it brings to this town within the city limits of La Mirada. Thank you, Raymond. Again, you know, a lot of people don't realize that there is a Bible college situated right in the middle of La Mirada. You know, we have an aquatic center, we have theater for the performing arts. We have this beautiful uh, expanding campus of, of, of Biola right here in the middle of our community, which at one time was, you know, planted with citrus trees and all kinds of things, olive trees. So again, you know, La Mirada is Tree City USA. That's one of our designations as a, as a community. So I hope that as you're driving around to the different spots, you'll take a time, look around at the different trees that are planted and, and see what was going on and try and connect the historical side of La Mirada. And today, Biola is uh, the largest employer, by the way, in La Mirada with over 5,000 uh, employees. So we're glad to have La Mirada here. And this is number four on our historical site stop. Now we're on to number five. Here we are at uh, site number five with respect to the city of La Mirada and the tour that we're taking here with Mr. Andrew McNally. Uh, this is the last remaining contiguous grove of olives. Uh, it is an early reminder of what La Mirada once was going back to the 1880s. And here I'm going to uh, send this over to Mr. McNally to let you know a little bit more. Thank you, Raymond. Uh, right over my shoulder you'll see the original olive trees that were planted here on the McNally Ranch. Uh, they go back, way back into the 1800s. Uh, La Mirada at one time was the leading producer of olive oil in the United States and the world. So it's, this is something that you might want to come and take a look at and touch part of the history. And also remember that as you drive through La Mirada, you'll see olive trees planted throughout our community within our, within our tracks. So our history is tied to uh, olive oil and producing of olives. Here we are again with Mr. Andrew McNally and we're at site number six on our historic tour site. Once this location was considered the La Mirada Playhouse, in fact, in the year 1964, the Beatles movie A Hard Day's Night was here, and there were a bunch of kids waiting in line for that. In the, around the year 1977, it became an official uh, movie house theater, where there's production with respect to all sorts of types of arts and big entertainment. Uh, a very, very inclusive part, once again, with respect to La Mirada trying to be uh, involving anything to do with the arts and uh, I'm going to let Mr. McNally here also take it away with respect to where we are today with this project. Yes, this is the uh, La Mirada Theater for the Performing Arts and as, as Raymond said it used to be a movie theater but now it's for the Performing Arts and uh, we have a lot of concerts, a lot of things going on here. The McCoy Rigby series is here. But La Mirada, the part of the, the fabric of La Mirada has always been the performing arts. And going way back into the days of uh, our founding uh, mothers and fathers, the Millie Taylors and the Grisham family and people like that, uh, were involved in the arts and wanted to bring that element to La Mirada. So the La Mirada Theater for the Performing Arts is here. And we're not just talking about uh, plays and musicals, we're talking about Broadway quality style shows, things that have been to Broadway or going to Broadway. Uh, these, these are things that most communities do not have. So when you put this in conjunction with where we have a, 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 a world-class recreational park like Splash, we have world-class uh, theater, we have a, 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 we're a college town. You know, all of these things are part of the, the fabric of La Mirada and make us special and make us unique. So I hope at some point in time you come down and, and see the theater and, and attend one of the productions here. I'm sure you will thoroughly enjoy it. Thank you. Here we are at the La Mirada post office. Now it is not the original post office. The original post office was actually built in 1893 and it was 
uh, still in construction there till about 1960. Back then, the train used to come by with a big bag of mail, and a lady by the name of Alice Palace, whom the La Mirada book is dedicated to along with Millie Taylor, would get the bag with a big iron pole and bring the mail down and into the facility that is no longer there. Um, the original postmasters was uh, the last name Dressel and then Criswell, and then from there on, it took us to where we are here today. And once again, I'm gonna throw this over to Mr. Andrew McNally here to kind of go over the contemporary post office that we're at today, location number seven. Yeah, so here we are, it's location number seven. And I just wanna remind you that as you come here, and if you scan down on here, you'll get a map of, of all the historical sites so you know exactly where you're at. But when you come to the present day, uh, uh, but post office, when you go inside, go inside and, and take a look at all the costumes and things of historical La Mirada. There's a mural there and it shows a lot of the history of La Mirada and uh, some of the faces and some of the people that actually lived here and are founding, uh, again, mothers and fathers. So again, this is number seven on our historical site tour of La Mirada. Here we are at site number eight. This piece of land here has a lot of significance within the city limits of La Mirada. Uh, there's a lot of exchange going on here with respect to real estate and a lot of different types of ventures. Uh, the name here, George Bell Reeves, a very prominent figure in the late 1800s and 1900s, uh, had some interaction with Mr. Andrew McNally. And on this site, what I'd like to do is just actually read to you verbatim the actual verbiage on the both signs here. So take for example, Windermere Park, as it is known today, is the former location of the George Bell Reeve Ranch. The ranch was established in 1890 by the purchase of a quarter section from Mr. Andrew McNally, who we have here with us today. George Bell Reeve lived in this location and built a water reservoir which was stocked with fish. Also at one time, it was also known as La Pomelo Ranch. On this particular site, it says, site of George Bell Reeve, La Pomelo Ranch, Mr. Reeve purchased 60 acres in 1890 from Andrew McNally and the Stearns Rancho Company for the Citrus Ranch and House. Later owners, Hamphill and Christensen, Emil Dannenberg, and Autry Mays. Again, this is significant piece of land here within the city of La Mirada, almost as significant as what we know as Neff Park today, which was once McNally Ranch as well. What I want to say is that George Bell Reeves, he was a good negotiator. He really twisted my arm on this one to get this piece of property. But besides that, but what Raymond has already said, you know, today it's it's a beautiful park and it's a systematic of what's going on in La Mirada. We have beautiful parks all over the place, playgrounds for our, our children, uh, af athletics things going on here 24-7 uh, almost, you know, in our community. But it's just part of the fabric of, of La Mirada. So we've taken the history of La Mirada, incorporated it into the uh, daily lives of the people that live here. So a lot of times when you're, you're visiting a park or someplace, you don't really notice the uh, historical significance of the, of the park and so take the time when you come look at the trees look at what's going on uh, re read the plaques and stuff and see what's going on and integrate and teach it to your children let them know the, the history of this beautiful uh, city of La Mirada this is really holy uh, sacred land with respect to La Mirada and the reason I say that is because this is where the actual original train depot was that was constructed in 1890, unfortunately torn down in 1962. Uh, once again, as mentioned with the other uh, post office, this was the original post office, uh, whereas the other one was the second one. Uh, again, the train would come by with a big bag of mail, and Alice Palace, who once again uh, the book has been dedicated to, would get the mail and go through it and get it to the people in La Mirada. I want to go ahead and take you to these signs specifically and what they say when you hear when you're here to check it out for yourself. Uh, train depot built in early 1890s as I've stated taken down uh, in 1962 very significant stage road a new mode of transportation developed the train depot became obsolete and was demolished in 1962 now along with this sign also we have a sign that was dedicated by the La Mirada Historical Committee back in 1969 you'll notice the big natural olive tree that was put here by the McNally family in the early uh, 1880s to kind of commemorate and show significance as to this property. 
In 1890, Andrew McNally purchased 2,360 acres from the Stearns Ranchos for his La Mirada colony of Colony Gentleman Estates and his Windermere Ranch. His plans were fulfilled instead, excuse me, his plans were not fulfilled. Instead, he grew to McNally Olive Oil Empire, which again, La Mirada at one point was the largest producing olive oil plant in the United States that would be shipped from this train depot and the plant that was once there, the olive oil pressing plant, back in the 1890s. Nearby to the east are the sites of the railroad station and the olive oil plant. Ranch buildings are preserved in Neff Park, located two blocks north. I pretty much all I have to say about this is this is uh, Raymond said this is the original historical site for the for the train depot. Today, as you as you probably heard going by, it's used today for uh, trains going uh, north and south. And uh, by the oh watch here, it's looks like it's about time for the 310 to Yuma to come by. And I don't know about you, but I think we should go off to the Neft House because I could use some lemonade right about now. See y'all later. Here we find ourselves at the Holy Grail within La Mirada. Back then, McNally Windermere Ranch. This was the home of Mina Neff and Edwin Neff. It was a wedding gift from Andrew McNally to his daughter. This home was constructed in 1893. Well, here we are at the Neff House. It's a house I actually uh, bought for my daughter back in the day. Uh, it's where they lived back in 1893, if you can believe it. But if you come out here today, uh, what you're going to see is Neff Park. You're going to see the Neff House and the George House and the barn, you know, the historical sites here. But you're also going to see a lot of trees that were planted here, trees that came in from uh, all over the world. And when you're looking at these trees, just kind of look at the base of the tree and you'll see where the tree came from and, and what it was. But this is kind of uh, like it was back in the day. It was just very nice and it was very peaceful, a nice place to come. And it's still uh, one of the hidden gems in La Mirada today. And a lot of people don't know about Neff Park. And, uh, it's a nice, safe environment to come and just uh, come and reminisce, you know, about La Mirada as it was in the day. But, uh, you know, if I was here today and I saw these people, I'd be telling them to get off my lawn, you know, <laughs> get those bicycles off my, my lawn. But today we welcome people here to come and have a picnic and even get married in the gazebo, if you so like. But I hope you come out on your historical tour, take a look and spend some time here. And uh, also, you know, the uh, Neff House is open for tours. So take advantage of that when we do have it. So hope you enjoy the tour. We're off to our next site. We are at the original La Mirada firehouse. And this firehouse was built in 1959. Uh, so uh, now it is a business but uh, it still has preserved its look with respect to how it looked back then. Here we find ourselves at the La Mirada fire station. This is not the original fire station. We had already discussed and seen that one. Uh, but as you can see, La Mirada was established in 1960 and this fire station was constructed around the year 1970. And here we have Mr. Eddie Diaz along with Mr. Ed, uh, Andrew McNally as well to kind of go over this property. Yeah, as uh, Raymond was saying, you know, we already visited the original fire station. Uh, you know, I was perfectly happy with the old fire station. But progress means you have to have a new fire station because there's now growth in La Mirada. There's now homes. It's not just an orchard anymore. And so part of our progress is the new uh, fire station that was built in the 70s. So I'm going to turn it over to uh, uh, Eddie Diaz, and he'll explain a little bit more to you about what actually goes on here at the fire station. Hello, Eddie Diaz, firefighter paramedic here at Fire Station 49. Uh, here at this station, we have uh, about five or six personnel here at the station. So we have a captain, an engineer, three paramedics. So we have this engine here, a paramedic squad, and then we also have a battalion chief that also uh, resides here at this station as well. Um, on a daily basis, we respond to medical calls, uh, traffic accidents, fires, uh, hazardous material calls, um, you name it. Uh, we, we respond to a lot of different types of calls here, and we try to get there uh, fast and efficient and safely and, um, and handle the situation with, uh, the best we can. Um, uh, otherwise, uh, we do have three shifts here, A, B, and C. So a total of eight, uh, let's see, six times three, 18, 18 personnel here uh, total, but uh, six on at a time.
This was once the historic site with respect to the Valley View Dairy. It was owned by Florence and, uh, and Cornelius Van Dam. They had it from 1953 to 1998. They left in 1998 on their own accord. We interviewed Florence about eight years ago and she said that the city was always gracious for the service that it provided. It provided baseball games that they used for fields as well. And also, it was a very sad day when they decided to leave. The city did not ask them to leave. They left once again on their own accord. Specifically, I want to just take you to the sign here. Valley View Farms, Cornelius, a and Flores Van Dam operated these farms from 53 to 98. Many dairy farms were located here in this region, especially in the 50s. The store offered fresh dairy products to local families, as well as they would do tours and field trips for kids. They also have their own recipe for eggnog. And once again, just a very, very proud uh, establishment within the city. If there's anybody you want to tip a hat to, you know, it would be the Van Dams. You know, they have, they operated this farm here with over 600 head of cattle, but they were just a integral part of La Mirada. You know, the, the La Mirada Little League actually used to play on, on a portion of, of the uh, of the farm here. Uh, the Van Dams were part of the uh, founding first service club in La Mirada, the uh, Rotary Club. And they, there's the, the family uh, legacy is still part of the Rotary Club today. And so when you come over here, just kind of remember and Hopefully uh, you can get some pictures and get a visual of what used to go on here. There used to, tours used to come here, you know, schools used to come here from, from all around the county just to see what an actual working dairy did. And so they were very gracious. Not only, again, was it a working farm, but they also reached out to the community and they used it as a teaching tool, you know. And so we surely miss the Van Dams and very grateful for all they did to the city of La Mirada. Okay, here we are at the last stop in our tour here of Historical La Mirada. This is the relay station where the stagecoach used to come and what would happen here is they would change horses, they would uh, get refreshments on their way either to Santa Ana or they'd be on their way into Los Angeles. But this is where the uh, stagecoach would stop here on the corner of Imperial and uh, Cordova, although it wasn't Imperial and Cordova back then. But this is the last stop in our tour of Historical La Mirada. And so I want to thank you for being a part of this and uh, hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun dressing up as Woody from Toy Story and uh, sharing things with uh, about La Mirada. We want to uh, give a shout out to Raymond Fernandez for his insight on the historical side of all of this. And I hope you uh, take some time and uh, do this walking bicycle tour of La Mirada, the history of La Mirada, and I hope uh, we help give you a little bit of insight on it. Uh, so thank you and have a good day. And as y'all go off to do something else, I'm going to get in my buggy and I'm going to head off to Altadena. That's where I live. See you later.